I looked in the mirror one day and it was just like, bam. My name is Michael. I'm from Southern Indiana. I'm an elementary school teacher. My first follow-up after the procedure, and obviously getting the suture out, uh, was uh, right around October 4th or October 5th, so right around a four-month process. And at that time, I thought, man, it was looking. I thought it was looking good, and Will thought it was looking good. He showed me a before and after. I was like, wow, this is amazing. And so I took those pictures home and showed my family, and they were blown away. Little did I know that it was only going to get better as we went forward. So that first initial consultation, four months in, I had already seen a difference, uh, especially like on the on the crown of my head. But um, you know, it was still kind of growing in here on the on the sides. So I didn't I didn't see as much difference here after four months, but definitely saw a difference on the crown area um, on that first consultation. Going from October to December, it was a wow. Like it just all of a sudden, I looked in the mirror one day and it was just like bam, my hair was coming in, and I was absolutely blown away. I actually had my wife take a few pictures of me at that time because I was like, this is amazing. I would say by February or March right around spring break time I mean it was in full full bloom I would say and I actually had kids at school saying Mr. Melanizer you have hair all of a sudden I was like well it's just a different way that I've been fixing it you know I'm cutting it different now um, but so by March I really saw a difference but then what even blew me away was even over the past month and a half it just really filled in uh, and I know they say it takes about a year for it to kick in I, I look in the mirror today and it's a totally different guy and so, yes, yeah, so it, it did take the full 12 months, but I was starting to see things six, seven, eight months in that it just blew my mind. I didn't think it could get any better than that, and it continued to get better. When I look at this picture, I see a guy that, quite honestly, had lost his self-esteem, had lost a lot of his, um, his vigor in a way. Uh, he definitely looks older. He doesn't look like the same person that I remember seeing in the mirror all the years. Uh, that I looked in the mirror and saw my hair. It was like having an old friend come back. Uh, and the old friend is completely back. But when I see this picture, I just see a guy that's just kind of kind of down and kind of old. And uh, today I see a guy that feels like he's 30 years old again. This guy in this picture uh, avoided all public spaces whenever he knew that people were gonna be around that he knew. And this guy here today, uh, goes out with great confidence and enjoys because I think people are gonna say, wow, you haven't aged at all. I did the multi-unit hair grafting after the procedure. I have uh, been using Finestride and I've also been using Rogaine foam uh, to do the global approach that they talked about as well. So uh, doing the global approach and doing the multi-unit hair grafting for me was just the uh, best decision I've ever made. I know there are a lot of guys out there like me. We're not famous, we're not doing any, we're not celebrities, but we walk around every day with, uh, with low self-esteem, even though we, we don't think we are. And we avoid places that we shouldn't be avoiding. We should be out there doing things. And so I just want to give a recommendation to anybody who's thinking about doing this. Any, anybody out there that has thinning hair or is going bald, uh, we grow hair, Indy can do it.